I want you to tell me about Linux furnace problems. Why is that? Do you want Santa Claus to bring you a Linux furnace for Christmas? Yeah, I am making a list and checking it twice. I want to find out if Linux furnaces are naughty or nice. Linux is a well-known, popular, and reputable brand. They have been in the furnace business since 1895. Nonetheless, there are customer complaints about Linux. Some customers say that the parts break easily, and they are expensive to fix. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it. Other customers report that these furnaces often don't turn on, and have to be set to a higher temperature to actually function. That could be a problem. Other customers report had the brain of the furnace had to be replaced twice, so naturally that ran into money. That is fairly ridiculous actually. I suppose it was just after the warranty ran out. I think it was in the first two years, even though Linux is by and large a quality furnace brand, like anything, you can run into a lemon that was not produced correctly. What other things have you heard about Linux furnace problems? Well, the furnaces are fairly complex so they require repairmen who have specific knowledge of the brand, otherwise they may not be able to fix it. What about calling the 1-800 number? 1-800 Linux is not really helpful when it comes to getting a repairman for your furnaces, according to customer reports. These are some of the things I need to know when I buy a Linux furnace. Even though there are some issues with Linux, I would not let the problems steer you away from the brand. Linux is probably one of the better furnace brands out there. Thanks for letting me know about all the Linux furnace problems I could run into.